What's going on, buddy? My name is Susan. Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, today we're going to get into diffusion uh, and what they are. So this is primarily for EP human, but if you just want to know what diffusion is for whatever reason, this is the perfect video for you. So there's two categories of diffusion. We're going to go through both of them and then the branches of one of the other categories. So the first one is relocation diffusion, and this is the spread of an idea through physical movement to one place from another. So in the image here, we see a Hispanic home that is in Texas. Now, most of you can agree with the statement, Hispanic architecture and culture is going to be clustered in places that has a high amount of a Hispanic population. You can probably agree with me. Where I live, that's the case. In Texas, which is close to the Mexico border, we're going to see a lot of Hispanic culture there because of the Hispanic people from Mexico bringing it with them. Uh, so let me actually draw a little cartoon for you. Uh, on relocation diffusion. So I'm going to draw a stick figure. We can call him Billy. Um, I'm a great drawer with a mouse. You probably can hear my mouse. Oh gosh. And let's say I have a, a red balloon. I know I'm a really good drawer. So that's a red balloon. And let's say I'm going to a house for a party. And I'm just bringing the balloon with me. I am bringing the balloon to the house. It is the idea of the balloon is going to the house. However, the amount of balloons is not increasing. So with relocation diffusion, the trend is not really going to increase. What's something that increases, kind of a riddle, that does not increase with diffusion, but moves through relocation diffusion? This is going to be folk culture. So folk culture is basically the opposite of popular culture, which is abbreviated to pop culture. It's our old traditional culture. Country music, I think, is a good example of folk culture. Um, not, you know, your modern country music, Taylor Swift. Um, but, you know, traditional country music that you see in, you know, your small towns and stuff. All of that folk culture it goes through relocation diffusion. And it does not increase uh, in the trend. So, yeah. The next is expansion diffusion, which is the growth of an idea as it spreads new ways. When So if I bring the balloon to the house for the party and more people buy red balloons... That's expansion diffusion because the number of balloons is increasing. So the coronavirus is a good example of expansion diffusion because as it spreads to new places globally, the amount of people with the Rona increase. Contagious diffusion is the spread of an idea rapidly through a population it spreads to. Now you're probably like, whoa, 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 you said there were two types of diffusion. You're right. Expansion diffusion branches off into four different types of diffusion that you need to know. So contagious diffusion is the first. We'll go through the next three uh, in just a second. So contagious diffusion is going to spread rapidly through population. So it's just going to increase rapidly in the population it goes to. That's all I can say about it. Rona is a good example of this because when it came to America, Italy, India, Australia, it really increased and stuff. Another example of this is social networking. It really anything to do with technology. Um, in most cases, it has to do with contagious diffusion. So the use of uh, Twitter, YouTube, all these other social media uh, networks, contagious diffusion, just the use of the internet's contagious diffusion, or the iPhone is contagious diffusion when that first released, the iPhone 2. The next is stimulus diffusion, which is the spread of an idea uh, as it goes to new places. It's going to increase, but change and adapt in the new place it spreads to. So an example of this is we here we have some Italian pizza. This is pizza I looked up. It's from Italy. It looks really, really good. It's like 10 in the morning where I'm filming this, so I'm not that hungry yet. Uh, and then here we have Chicago deep dish pizza. They are both pizza. It's still the same idea, but some of the characteristics of the pizza are different. So when it spread to Chicago and deep dish pizza developed, uh, it changed and adapted to Chicago. That's stimulus diffusion. Hierarchical diffusion is the spread of an idea from wealthy people to commoners or from urban to rural environments. TikTok trends. Um, really, any internet trend or anything like a celebrity does that everyone else starts to do, um, hierarchical diffusion. Fortnite, hierarchical diffusion. Uh, so, yeah. And then um, fashion trends like scrunchies. Those aren't as big as they were two years ago, but they came back. Again, because it's a fashion trend, and that's hierarchical diffusion. Uh, so yeah. And then the next is kind of a branch of hierarchical diffusion, but this is reverse hierarchical diffusion. And this is the spread of an idea from commoners to wealthy people, or from rural to urban environments. It's the opposite of standalone hierarchical diffusion. 
So Walmart started out in a small town in Arkansas, Bentonville to be exact, and it is now uh, international because of globalization. It's in so many cities, crazy amount of Walmarts. It's very, very popular. And it all started from a very, very small town. It was a small idea. And look how big it is now. That's reverse hierarchical diffusion. All right, so I have two images here, and I want you to classify the type of diffusion they've underwent. Um, if you're in trouble, that's okay. Okay, so hopefully you took the time to identify the types of diffusion. So first we have McDonald's in India. So let's look at the menu. We have the McVeggie. There's a uh, fish. What is missing here? Beef. Because people in India don't eat beef primarily because cows to the Hindu religion are sacred and stuff. Now, McDonald's burgers in America and pretty much every other country in the world has beef in them. But in India, when it diffused there, they took out all the beef items and changed them with chicken and veggie food and all that stuff. So this is going to be stimulus diffusion. Now the next one is contagious diffusion. Uh, silly bands just kind of spread rapidly. It came out of nowhere and spread rapidly. It's not reverse hierarchical diffusion because it did not diffuse from like a little small town or from commoners. It just kind of spread rapidly through everyone. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. So I have an FRQ on the screen, and actually for once, I have room for a video suggestions. And all the links to these videos are going to be in the description down below, if they are up. Some might not be up. Some should be up. So yeah, go watch those videos. Very, very cool. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the FRQ. Subscribe. Like. Adios. I'm done talking.